Hey guys, Nova Joe back again, this time with another weapon overview. And you know, I was searching through the comments and I saw several of my subscribers uh, stating that I needed to try out the Side Blade Splash, that it was a very devastating level 3 weapon. So I thought I would go over this weapon today and tell you my thoughts on it. Now, the Side Blade Splash comes with the Pharaoh Sister, so if you've picked her up, then more than likely. Uh, you will have this, well, let me rephrase this, if you picked her up playing on Hardest or Inferno, more than likely you have managed to pick up this weapon. Uh, I believe the EDF to be feeble and useless, unless, until they gave me this, it releases psychokinetic plasma orbs into the aliens. The orbs have a moment of idleness after being shot, so it's best to aim to the sky. Once locked on, it is fine for the enemies to leave its sight. Now, that's how they describe it here in the game. <laughs> the way I describe it is like this. It's like watching a big muscular drunk guy uh, get into a fight with another person. He's all over the place, but if he connects, he's going to lay you out. And that is just like the side blade splash here. Uh, when you first fire this weapon off, it is going to seem a bit underwhelming. Because it'll hit the enemy, it'll do its 1,997 points of damage, and bounce away. Or, it'll do its 1,997 points of damage, bounce into a building, and bounce right back into your enemy, doing repeated 2,000 points of damage. And I don't mean just like one, but I mean like every split second that it is inside of the enemy it is dropping 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000 points of damage this oh my gosh <laughs> you all were not kidding it is a boss destroyer if it connects like the drunk guy I was mentioning earlier <laughs> it is a dropship destroyer it's a Sidero destroyer it is a praying mantis destroyer. However, it is not so great when uh, being used against multiple enemies. It does work. You can pull it off, but it is very, very time consuming. Uh, if you're going to be going up against multiple enemies, I still recommend taking in the, uh, the fork, uh, fork 2B and loading up your squad with that to clear them out however it is pretty good against uh, the red drones that like to show up so the best thing i can do is just shut up and show you this weapon in action and guys thanks for recommending this one it is it is literally a game changer all right now i'm going to show this weapon uh, being used against some sideros now, as you can see, just did a little bit of damage there. Oh, there it goes. It connected. Did a bit more. And just a little bit, just a little bit. Wow, there it goes. Now it's connected. And so as you can see here, it can be underwhelming or it can be overwhelming. And it's honestly a risk worth taking because when it does connect, it can finish off an enemy pretty quickly. And like I said, these are just Sideros. The bigger the monster the more likely it is to connect uh, rather well. So that's why I was stating earlier that it's not really great against a crowd of ants or spiders. I mean, it takes a second to lock on, and when you're locked on, it'll hit that one ant. And so it kind of takes too long. There's a lot better weapons for single, individual, uh, small uh, enemies. But for these larger enemies, it is a really good weapon. See, there it goes. Connect a little bit, not connect, and then connect a lot. And it just can overwhelm the larger enemies without much issue. And the, like I said, the bigger the enemy, so referring to bosses here, like the Urgenis and the Basil, it will hit them, and you have, I would say, probably... A 90% chance of it connecting hard with them uh, just because of how large they are and it can finish off a boss quickly as I'm getting ready to show you in just a second 
All right, here's a little basil and Urginus action. Watch how quickly basil goes down here. And I am playing on hardest right now. I haven't got Inferno unlocked, but look at that. Look how much damage that did. And granted, as you can see here, I'm using the switch tactic where I have equipped three of my characters uh, with the side blade splash. So I fire it with one, flip to the other one, fire it with another one, flip to the other one, fire it with another one. And look at that. Basil is dead in just a moment. And so that tactic I was showing you with the fork 2B, it works really well against bosses uh, with the side blade splash. So the, use the fork 2B method with uh, a lot of aerial enemies, a lot of ground enemies, but use the same method with the side blade splash when you're going against bosses and you will destroy a boss in just a matter of moments. All right, now I'm gonna show this uh, next boss here going down. All right, watch how quickly Urginus goes down. Like I said, this is on hardest. That was the first time I hit him with it. Look at that look at that connection just an immense amount of damage flip do it again and then just did a little bit see where it only connected a little bit there but do it again and there you go look at that it's just no time at all watch he's dead that was like less than 30 seconds fighting that boss so that is the side blade splash guys it is awesome and thank you guys for recommending it there's just so many weapons that it's hard for me to get to them all especially since you know uh, I've got a, a job and everything else so I don't get to try everything there's just so much of it and and uh, so I really like your all's recommendations if you guys have anything else that or any other weapons or tactics you've come across uh, let me know about them. I would love to do a video and give you guys credit for it. I wish I could remember all y'all's names, but uh, uh, I need to write them down next time so I can give you more credit. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, get a, give it a like and comment. If you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Until next time, guys, take care. God bless and keep on gaming.